Hey guys, it's Yarg. So here again we are with another docking tutorial. This one we're going to call an intermediate tutorial. Uh, the difference is this time instead of docking to another smaller craft, we are going to be docking to a station. And how is that different? Well the difference is with a station it is not going to rotate to point to us like this other craft did so we are actually going to have to put ourselves in a position to reach its docking port which is on the top here we are using the same vessel as before we already did the thing where we got the center of mass lined up we also already did the rcs thrusters so pitch yaw and roll are disabled station is basically not going to be doing anything so it is good like it is let's go back to the space center and the tracking station and we are going to fly our ship again our station is once again already in orbit we are in a 75k orbit it is in a 100k orbit just like before we are going to make our maneuver set our, oh, I already got it set, set as our target, cool. So drag our maneuver up to roughly 100 kilometer AP and then just grab it and drag it along. This is exactly like we did before. Only difference is really once we get to the target. So once again, we're gonna get our two I1 dots lined up there and then we are going to warp to the maneuver all right we are at our maneuver we are going to set ourselves to prograde again i'm not really actually using the maneuver i am just trying to use it to figure out when to burn We'll just warp around a little bit until we get to it. Close enough. Is our engines? Okay, our engine is staged. Just checking. And we will bring our AP up to around 100. can see our I1 markers getting closer together there. And now they are on top of each other. So just as before, I'm going to come over and time warp to just before the I1 point. And we should where is my station hiding from me? There is our station right there. So we're a little bit farther from it than we were last time, but that's fine. And actually go a little bit closer, I think. I can time warp a little just to see how close it'll get. We're pretty much where we're gonna get, okay. So I am going to turn to retrograde on target. and kill my velocity. I did power down my engine this time a little bit already, so we're not running at 100% thrust. There's really not any reason when doing docking maneuvers like this to be running at 100% thrust. All right, and now we are going to set to target and at this point, everything still looks pretty much like it did before, and it will until we get quite a bit closer. I'm gonna go a little faster just because we are farther away. And I'm gonna go ahead, and just because I am faster, I am gonna turn us retrograde so we can use the engines to slow down as we get closer. When you're going slow, you just use the RCS thrusters, but when you're going a little bit faster, it's nicer to be able to do it quicker with the engines. Are we close enough to be able to switch targets yet? 
we are. Okay, so this is our station that we're docking to. You'll see I keep my station pointed normal. When you're docking to stations, always, until you get really advanced, keep your station docking ports either normal or anti-normal. The reason being that it is really easy to then align your incoming craft to the opposite. So if my docking port on this station is pointed normal, all I have to do is align my craft so it is anti-normal. And then the docking ports will automatically be aligned. Then all it is is a matter of getting yourself in the correct position to come in for them, which I'm thinking is over here. That's hard to tell until we're a little bit closer. I think those are the solar panels and that is where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna just kind of cancel out some of my velocity change here. You see I just pointed myself to cancel out how I was going below the station and now I'm moving these two nodes so they are in line again. That's something you don't need to do when you're really close, but as you're farther away, it comes in handy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point myself so I end up at this end of the station because that's where my docking port is. So you see that's aligned with the station. I'm gonna slow down a little bit more because we don't need to be going this fast now. And then I'm just gonna turn a little bit this way. And I'm gonna burn like that. And that's all I'm going to do. And what that's going to do is that's going to start throwing me in this direction from the station. And that's where I want to be so that I can line up with the docking port there. And as we get in closer, we can do a little bit more adjustment with RCS again. So I'm going to push myself up. What I'm trying to do now is keep these two points so they are on an even line this way. And now that I'm out in front, I can kind of pull back. So what you see I'm doing now, I'm just kind of slotting myself into this end of the docking port. And as I slow down, You should end up roughly in front of it. You're not necessarily going to get this a hundred percent perfect, but the idea is to get it close. And I'm just using my maneuvering thrusters to align me. Right now I'm close enough, I'm just going to cancel out the last of my velocity. Now, if I set myself to target, I am pointing at it. You can see I'm basically on my anti-normal as well, which is south, because I already set myself up properly for that. Now I'm just gonna thrust toward the station, once again, lining up all our indicators. Just give ourselves a little bit of speed. You will notice your indicators drift a little more as we come in this time. Let me, okay, so if you actually set your docking port as target there. It's a little bouncy still because Kerbal 2 is a little bit bouncy at times, but very doable. And again, you're waving around a little bit more. But just watch all your directions. And there you go. Just like that, that is how you dock to a station with a fixed orientation docking port little bit more complex than when you can point your craft right at it, but overall, still not too bad.
Next time we will actually worry about a vessel that we cannot align north and south, such as a station with multiple ports in different directions, but this should really cover about 95% of your docking port needs. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.